Hello guys and welcome to my comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S7 TouchWish launcher and the Google Now launcher. And what I'm going to do in this video is to compare them to them together and see what the good things are and what the bad things are and I'm going to give my verdict on which one I use and why I think that one is better. And just a disclaimer, I'm actually right now using the microphone of the Galaxy S7 Edge to record this video. So you can get a pretty good overview how the microphone performs as well. So right now, as what you can see here to the left is the TouchWish launcher. And what you can see to the right is the Google Now launcher. So if we just start scrolling through pages on both of them, you can see that it's pretty similar. You just get your regular pages of apps here that you can put in your widgets and all that stuff. What's different, however, is when you go to all the way to the left on both of the launchers here. If we do that, you can see that on the TouchWiz launcher, you get to this. This is what they call breathing. It's flipboard breathing. And if you do it, as you see on the Google, you get to Google now if you go with the Google launcher. And basically, they are quite similar in function. You get information about news articles in the briefing that's the only thing you can do but if you use the Google launcher you get access to the whole Google now benefits with all your cards you can see you can see there I have the weather I have also news articles and I have just different places and a lot of different stuff so that is cool so I would actually give the edge there to the Google Now launcher because I just like the Google Now features more because I can still get news updates but I can get a lot more at the same time but one thing that is good that you can do with Samsung launcher is that if you hold in on it like this see if I can manage to do it if you do this you can actually turn this feature on or off if you don't like it and you cannot and you can actually do that with this you can actually do that with the Google Now Launcher as well, so they're pretty equal there. If you don't like any of the features. And what else you can do here, a little tweaking with the launcher here, with the TouchWish Launcher, is that you have the screen grid here. As you can see, which is interesting, because you can change how many apps you want to be able to display on one page which is good and you cannot do this on the Google launcher and that I give Samsung a big thumbs up because that's a good thing if you want to be able to put more apps on one page so you can do it like that and you can also go to the theme engine and the Google now launcher does not have that and it, that's also a good thing so if you click here on themes you can see there's my themes here's recommended and I can even go into more themes here and I get a lot of different options and I can also go to widget, widgets, and that's something I can do with the Google Now Launcher as well. Here are just all my widgets, as you can see here on both of them. And then if we go into the all the other apps, here are your home pages, but you, where are all your other apps located that you don't put here? Well, obviously they're going to be located here on the TouchWiz Launcher and in the middle of the Google Launcher. So if we start with the TouchWiz Launcher. If I click here on apps, this is going to pull up. This is just a list, or it's not a list, it's basically just like the home sc screen. You swipe on different sides and you'll see your pages with all the apps you have installed. And I actually like what Google are doing with their launcher with this. As you can see here, they have a list instead, a scrolling list. And you have the you have you can search there as well and you have your most used apps up at the top and I think this is much easier to work around just scroll down instead of doing it to the sites and that's just my personal preference you might think different but that's how I think however you can as you see up here you have a search box in the TouchWiz launcher so you can actually search as well but you get a click on an extra button here and you get to this and then I can search for example Facebook and I can open that and I also have here when I click on the search box I have my four most recent searches as well so that is good too but it just requires extra steps that the Google launcher 
compared to the Google Launcher. So I think it's faster and better on the Google Launcher in my opinion. But one thing you can do, you can see here that the, the Google Launcher from the beginning actually organizes the apps in alphabetical order. So you will always get them in alphabetical order. However, the Samsung TouchWiz launcher, it just puts the app in the back of the last page if for default. However, what I've done here is I've clicked on this AC button here and then you can they the launcher will alphabetize them for you all the apps so you will get them in alphabetical order and that is really helpful however what's really really strange and I just don't understand this I think it's so stupid say I now click save here now I have them all in alphabetical order you can see A I have C B B C and it's, let's say I want to download another app so go to the Play Store let's just search for I don't know news See what we get something I don't have installed. Let's see BBC News. So if I install this, it's gonna download. It's gonna install. So you guys can see how what it does now. Because what it's gonna do, it's it's really strange. So it's installed now. I click back on the home screen, and if I now go on apps, I go back. You can see BBC News. BBC News just popped up there at the back, even though I have the alphabetical order turn on if I even though I have that feature turn on it just put it on the back where it's where it shouldn't really be because it's not in alphabetical order and what I have to do now to get this new app in the right order I have to click on the AC button again and I have to click save and now you see there is BBC News right beside the other B apps I have as with the Google launcher you can see here I'm gonna download another app here for the Google Launcher, let's see. You can see if I have if there's another news oh, news app here. We can do CNN. So if I install that, okay, let's install CNN. See what that what it does to that. Okay, so app is installing here. So see how the Google now launcher works with new apps okay it's installing taking some time so there it is done so if I go back to the home screen and let's now if I go into apps you can see that it's actually already in the right order it alphabetized itself from the beginning I don't have to click an AC button or anything like that which is just really a good thing. I think it's just so weird that in the TouchWiz launcher that they don't have that feature. I just don't understand that. Sorry, Samsung. And what else you have here on the TouchWiz launcher? You have this edit button up here. So click edit. You can it basically just you you can just you you install apps this way. It's just a quick way. Or you can do it right from the home screen if you just let's say I hold in an app that I can use called Snapchat. I can click remove or I can click move apps. If I click on move apps, this is actually pretty cool. I can tap or drag items to move to another page. So let's say I want to move like four different apps to another page. So instead of having to select one at each time and move them over, I can do up to, I think it's up to five apps. So let's do it like this, yes. So let's say I want to go for, I want to create a whole new page for them. So I can click on the plus sign down here. Let's click on the plus sign. And now I can actually just move them back in like this. And this is really, really neat. I wish the Google Launcher had this because it's just a much quicker way to move apps. So you don't have to do one at a time. So I give Samsung credit for that. That's really good. So what else can you do with these two launchers? Well, I think I basically covered all the basic features. I would give the edge actually to the... My favorite one is the Google Now launcher. Because I just, I just like the Google Now cards a lot more. And I like the vertical scrolling list that it has compared to the go to left or right thing on the TouchWiz launcher. So thank you guys for watching, that was a quick review of the differences between the TouchWish launcher and the Google Now launcher. I hope you guys enjoyed it, 
and well you can make your own verdict but as I said my favorite is the Google Now Launcher. Stay tuned for more videos I have a lot of different reviews coming up for and for different accessories for the Galaxy S7 Edge so stay tuned for that and I'll talk to you guys soon and please like and subscribe this video this is my second one I ever uploaded on YouTube so I hope you guys can support me. Alright, thanks guys for watching. Bye.